Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Edmond Mindaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve the NTOSKRNL.exe blue screen update error in Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So generally ntoskrnl.exe file is an important part of windows and it is responsible for all the specific tasks which include memory management hardware abstractions and process management and the most common causes of bsod ntoskrnl.exe include a problem with the hardware problematic drivers and corrupted system files and then i'll show you how to fix it kung paano ba natin ito fix and without further ado and let's go ahead so the first i recommend is to run the windows memory diagnostic tool kung paano ba yan natin gawin so all you have to do is to open up on a search menu and dito sa search for apps, so kailangan mo lang i-type dito yung Windows Memory Diagnostic. And then i-click mo lang dito yung Open. And pop-up itong Windows Memory Diagnostic. So check your computer for memory problems. And then i-select mo lang dito yung Restart Now and check for problems most recommended. So bago natin gawin ang Restart, so, kailangan mo munang i-save your work and close any open programs before restarting. Alright? So, i-close mo lahat yung mga open programs and then kailangan mo lang i-click dito yung restart now. Alright? So, after dito, and the next solution na pwede natin gawin is to update and reinstall drivers. Kung paano ba yan natin gawin. So, all you have to do is to right-click on the start menu. And then, select mo lang dito yung device manager. And dito lang sa device manager, ang next step ay kailangan mo lang select dito yung display adapters. So, i-click mo lang dito yung arrow na yan para mag-expand. And then, dito lang sa kanyang drivers ay kailangan lang natin itong i-update kung paano ba yan natin yung gawin. So, i-select mo lang yan and then right-click. And select mo lang dito yung update drivers. Click mo lang yan. And then, may dalawang option dito na pwede natin gawin. Like, search automatically for drivers or browse my computer for drivers. So, silika lang dito sa dalawa. And then, itap mo lang tong search automatically. And wait natin. So, makikita mo na dito na the best drivers for your device are already installed. Alright? So, after dito sa device manager and the next solution na pwede natin gawin is to perform the SFC and the same run tool. Kung paano ba yan natin gawin? So, all you have to do is to open up again on a search menu. And dito sa search for app, so type mo lang dito yung CMD or ito yung tinatawag na command prompt and then kailangan mo lang mag right click and select mo lang dito yung run as administrator. If you receive your search account control and click mo lang dito yung yes. And dito lang sa administrator command prompt ay kailangan lang natin i-enter yung command keyword na dcm space slash online space slash cleanup dash image space slash restore health and then copy lang natin yan. And next step dito lang sa taas kailangan mo lang mag right click and select mo lang dito yung edit and then i-click mo lang dito yung paste or pwede mong gamitin yung keyboard shortcut na control plus B and click mo lang yan and then Press mo lang yung enter. And then, deployment, image, servicing, and management tool. So, dito ay kailangan lang natin hintay na makomplete ang verifications into 100%. And the restore operations completed successfully. Alright, so ang next command keyword na kailangan mong i-type, ay type mo lang yung command keyword na SFC space slash scan now. So, in all small letter lahat, and then yung slash scan now, ay one word yan, and press mo lang yung enter. And then, beginning system scan, this a process 
will take some time beginning verifications piece of system scan so dito ay kailangan ulit natin nahintay na makomplete ang verifications into 100% and finally verifications 100% complete and next step so close lang natin tong CMD si at dito lang si start menu at kailangan mo lang mag restart okay click mo lang ito all right so guno lang po ka simply on how to fix ntoskrnl.exe bsod error in windows 10 or windows 11 and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.